course there is an atrocious amount of thistles coming back up. Thistles and burdock and all things that my horses obviously don't eat. Years and years of neglect that is going to take years and years to fix, really. If I don't maintain this, defense lines, knocking down all the thistles and the burdock and the ragweed when it starts showing up. If I don't do this, this place will look exactly the same as we found it. It is June 8, 2020. I just read on Twitter that Doug Ford has declared that we are still in lockdown phase one here in Peel and in Toronto. Meanwhile, our landlord has filed a claim against us for the entire balance of our lease, which is close to $70,000, because we couldn't pay our rent in May. And he is declaring through his lawyer that COVID-19 has nothing to do with anything. Even, let me be a, a little bit more intimidating. Even if you would to disregard all the work we had to do to make this place even remotely safe and usable, it still would be unethical. In the midst of a global pandemic, we missed one month of rent. And he immediately jumped into filing a claim for the balance of our entire lease. Over $70,000 he wants right away. Meanwhile, claiming that this has nothing to do with COVID-19. Even if you would disregard everything that happened before, which is already on YouTube for your information, it still would be completely and utterly unethical. And meanwhile, we are a year into our lease and we are still fighting years and years and years of neglect. Even if we were not sold a lemon for a pineapple price, even if that was not the case, it still would be completely inappropriate and unethical without even an attempt to come to some sort of an arrangement which we have been asking for pretty much since the beginning and here we are stuck on this property because of COVID-19 for one and secondly because our landlord kept jerking us around and jerking us around and jerking us around until it was too late to move and then turn around immediately and said, ha, you're on the hook for the balance of your entire lease. More than $70,000, pay up now. Unbelievable. If we would not maintain this place all day, every day, it would look like it looked when we found it last summer. A completely thistle burdock and ragweed infested paddock. I worked months and months and months to even make this place remotely usable, remotely safe. We are still struggling to make up for years and years and years and years of systematic neglect.
They don't like to eat the thistles when they're growing, but once I knock them down, they all of a sudden eat them. Anyway, I'm just maintaining my fence lines and I am knocking down whatever is inside of the paddock. I'm not gonna bother with all the areas that I had to fence out because they're still flipping dangerous. Uh, whatever grows in there can grow in there and then you can also see for yourself what would happen to this place if I wasn't here maintaining it day in day out. And if my horses weren't here tidying it up and keeping it nicely mowed. And why our landlord is insisting on raging war at us is absolutely I, I, I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing. <laughs>